Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, the main text, and today we're on chapter 20, section one. And originally this was uh, written uh, during the Easter uh, period of time. So depending on when you're reading this, obviously right now I'm making this video in October of 2020, so it's nowhere near Easter. So we just need to uh, uh, read understanding the time frame and work around that. So this is chapter 20, the vision of holiness, section one, the Holy Week. This is Palm Sunday, the celebration of victory and acceptance of the truth. Let us not spend this holy week brooding on the crucifixion of God's son, but happily in the celebration of his release. For Easter is the sign of peace, not pain. A slain Christ has no meaning, but a risen Christ becomes the symbol of the son of God's forgiveness on him, on himself, the sign he looks upon himself as healed and whole. This week begins with palms and ends with lilies. The white and holy sign of the Son of God is innocent. Let no dark sign of crucifixion intervene between the journey and its purpose, between the acceptance of the truth and its expression. This week we celebrate life, not death, and we honor the perfect purity of the Son of God and not his sins. Offer your brother the gift of lilies, not the crown of thorns, the gift of love and not the gift of fear. You stand beside your brother, thorns in one hand and lilies in the other, uncertain which to give. Join me now and throw away the thorns, offering the lilies to replace them. This Easter, I would have the gift of your forgiveness offered by you to me and returned by me to you. We cannot be united in crucifixion and in death, nor can the resurrection be complete till your forgiveness rests on Christ along with mine. A week is short, and yet this holy week is the symbol of the whole journey the Son of God has undertaken. He has started with the sign of victory, the promise of the resurrection already given him. Let him not wander into temptation, the temptation of the crucifixion, and delay him there. Help him go in peace beyond it with the light of his own innocence, lighting his way to his redemption and release. Hold him not back with thorns and nails when his redemption is so near. But let the whiteness of your shifting gift of lilies speed him on his way to resurrection. If you see glimpses of the face of Christ beyond the veil, looking between the snow white petals of the lilies you have received and given as your gift, you will behold your brother's face and recognize it. I was a stranger and you took me in, not knowing who I was. Yet for your gift of lilies, you will know. In your forgiveness of this stranger alien to you and yet your ancient friend lies his release and your redemption with him. The time of Easter is a time of joy and not of mourning. Look on your risen friend and celebrate his holiness along with me, for Easter is the time of your salvation along with mine. Well, I think it's a beautiful lesson regardless of the time of year that this is and worth meditating on. Uh, so if you'd like additional support, uh, you can reach out to me 907-351-3003. You can message me through Facebook or YouTube or SoundCloud or through my websites, lindalamp.com or lindalamp.shop. Until the next reading, namaste and much love. <laughs>